All right, switching gears a bit, uh, the oldest school in Oakland is now taking a very modern approach to education. The innovative curriculum is focused on putting women first in all fields. And this morning, Jackie Ward continues our special back-to-school coverage live inside Holy Names High School. We know there are a lot of students around. Where are they? We're not hearing them now. Okay, they're taking a break right now. We're getting a little <laughs> bit more serious. We're focusing on the academic portion, you know, the whole reason we all go to school here. So this is something that they didn't have when I was in school, STEM. It's all about science and technology and robots. I'm here with the director of STEM this morning, Nicole Pope, while we have a demonstration going on in the background here. Thanks for waking up, up early with us. <laughs> no problems, so what no is, problems. Yeah, what's the importance of STEM and how do you guys implement that in the school? Okay, so technology is huge nowadays, Google, Intel, and so on. So we want to give our young ladies that opportunity as well and show their natural abilities of being able to do hands-on projects, troubleshooting, and coming up with a lot of innovative designs. So we want them to be able to flourish as they move on throughout the high school career and moving on to college and also within society. So STEM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics. So they're taking all of these academic things that they're learning in school and integrating it together to create different products, being able to work together, team collaboration, and so on. Can you explain to us what what we're seeing right now and yeah. did the students design this robot? So actually this is a robot that um, some of our students went to a Google workshop and it was a girl empowered um, workshop for them to be able to have hands-on experience. This is VEX which is worldwide um, product that's used and it allows the girls to be able to program, to build the hardware of it together, work together as a team and then compete. So there's a competition that's taking place um, actually right now and so right we're just getting them ready to be able to to compete and then modify that into something that works for the competition. Very cool. Do you have a lot of interest in this? Yeah, we do. Our school is a little small, so a lot of girls haven't had experience with robotics, but once we tell them and show them what they're capable of doing, it is awesome. It's really awesome. And so in our introduction to engineering class, we're integrating robotics in it for the first time. And then we still have ladies that are upperclassmen that want to be a part of it. So Engineering, awesome. robotics, all of this high-tech stuff for yes. 14, 15 year olds. That's really incredible. Yes. Nicole, thank you so much. Thank you. Good luck with the competition. It's really cool because don't let the age of the Holy Names fool you because they're embracing the future and they're really good at this whole robotics thing. They know way more about this than I do. <laughs> I will stick to words. I'll leave the science and tech up to them. <laughs> That's a good idea. And yeah, that robot's moving around pretty well. So they're doing a good job out there, Jackie. Thanks. Yeah, some future mm -hmm. Google engineers at you that school. You never right? know. All right.